We found this from the USA Today. They looked at Google Trends to search for Halloween costumes, you know, just to search like popular Halloween costumes to see exactly what is trending towards this year. Um, so Beetlejuice. Oh, for sure. Since the movie Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice is out. They'll be seeing um, we'll be seeing more Beetlejuices since the original movie came out in 1988. Uh, Ghostbusters, the costumes are, are sure to be popular again this year after the release of Ghostbusters Frozen Empire last March. Always easy, always simple. Yeah. I have a Ghostbusters adult costume somewhere. We do too. Like, we have the whole family for Ghostbusters. Uh, let's see, Wicked. That's cute. The, mo the movie version of Wicked doesn't hit theaters until November, but I'm sure there'll be a lot of Glindas mm -hmm. and Alphabuzz. Uh, Deadpool and Wolverine. Trending high. Yeah. Inside Out 2. There's going to be lots of joy, sadness, oh, fears, cute. angers. That would be a really cute family costume. On Wheeze. Hmm. Uh, for some Riley's dads and moms, thanks to the success of the Pixar movie. That'd be Yeah, you're right. That would be fun for a family yeah. to like dress up. That's super cute. Uh, so on the TV show front, they say Adam's family. Always popular. Again, it's trending. The Dallas Cowboy Cheerleaders with the hit of the Netflix uh, docu-series America's Sweethearts. Uh, don't threaten me with a good time. You you already have a cheerleader <laughs> outfit, and you are a <laughs> Miami Dolphins cheerleader. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Uh, some pop culture moments. JoJo Siwa. Uh, Taylor and Travis, of course. Yeah, I was just going to say, or you could just look at the VMAs from last night because every single thing that anyone walked down the carpet in looks like a Halloween costume to me. Yeah, but you said it was like more of an adult-leaning Halloween yeah. costume. Like a naughty Halloween party. Everything looked like a vampy Halloween costume to yeah. me. Everything. None of it looked like real fashion. Right. Uh, let's see. Uh, Breakdancer <laughs> Rachel Raygun. Oh, my gosh. I bet you we will see a bazillion of those this year. She was the breakdancer who did kind of a... The, from Australia. Yeah. Who she didn't, didn't really know how to break dance. She didn't do a good routine. She and just she rolled around on the ground. Got razzed. And then they say presidential candidates, since it's an election year, there's already plenty of searches for Trump and Kamala masks. Okay. Uh, as well as uh, lots of references to unmarried cat ladies, coconut trees, and mug shots yeah. will also be popular. You know, it's funny. I'm, don't get nervous. I'm not going to. I'm, I'm not nervous. Gonna, I'm, I'm not, nervous. I'm not going to ask. <laughs> when anyone says to you, don't get nervous, <laughs> immediately your stomach drops. Well, because we we talked about this in our post-show meeting uh, last week, and I said we were throwing out ideas, you know, talking about the ha Halloween and all that stuff. I said, you know, with, with costumes, you know, people are shopping for costumes already. We should ask people, like, what they wore that would now be canceled. And Loren was like, no, absolutely not. We cannot ask that question. No. And I'm not going to ask it, but just think about it. Like, think about it to yourself. Like what you did back in the day, what you wore to an adult party back in like the 90s or the mid 2000s. And keep and it to yourself and don't bring it up to anyone. <laughs> don't text me. <laughs> yeah, don't text us. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, some of the stuff was really, really bad, but also really creative. That was the other thing was like. When you would go to a Halloween party, there was really no rules because you wanted to shock and you wanted to, like, first of all, not wear something that someone else was wearing. Sure. Now, this wasn't me, by the way, because I hated dressing up. Don't look at me that way. I hated dressing up for Halloween parties. Okay. I never dressed up as anything inappropriate because I wasn't creative enough to think that way. <laughs> I was like, I'm not doing That's this. That's a bold face lie. You're the most creative person I've ever met in my entire life. In the 2000s, when I lived in California, my favorite bar threw a Halloween party. Three years in a row, I wore a hard hat and a reflective vest. That's just because you don't like to dress up. Exactly. It's not because you're not creative. Well, okay, I don't like to dress up, but yeah. I also was like, no, I'm not doing that. They like A group of, of uh, bar flies wanted me to be part of their group with them. I was like, no way. This is what I'm doing, and you know it. <laughs>